Almost a decade after the fall of the Taliban and the people of Afghanistan are still struggling to survive. Violence has become a part of daily life and people are fed up with their poverty and the ongoing battle between troops and Taliban insurgents. As part of attempts to put an end to this bloody conflict, the country is bringing together its influential tribal and community leaders for a rare meeting of the peace jirga. In the past, when we faced important issues, our elders solved them by holding such gatherings and jirgas. The elders would find solutions for the problems. I believe there will be good results from this jirga. Heading the agenda is the possibility of official peace talks with insurgents, a move that has support both within the government and from many Afghans. Analysts say negotiations with the Taliban are crucial, as foreign and local forces struggle to maintain control over large parts of the country. They have considerable power. The whole world couldn't weaken or remove them in eight or nine years of war. If they don't negotiate, then what can they do? How long will the war continue? And how many people do they want to kill? Yet it's unclear if the rebel leadership will even agree to negotiations. They have claimed responsibility for a string of attacks in Kabul, including this recent car bomb targeting NATO soldiers. Some observers say the government needs to do more to bring the Taliban to the table. The people who are leading the Taliban, whose names are on a wanted list, awards are being offered for their arrest. They should be offered safety and amnesty. It may be a tough pill to swallow for foreign governments, whose soldiers have been fighting these very insurgents. More than 1,700 foreign troops have been killed since 2001. But it's the civilian toll that is the most alarming, with many Afghans calling for peace at any cost.